But yeah, so we just got back from the road trip and as you can see, the front of that car is super, super dirty. A lot of you guys have actually been asking what I do to clean the car, so today we are gonna show you just that. We have bugs everywhere. I mean, the front grill, the front windshield, the side mirrors, the f like literally the front hood, every like everywhere. It's, it's kind of a mess. It's been a few days though, because unfortunately life happens and I got busy. So I really want to give it a really thorough wash. Now normally when I'm washing, I kind of do like a no rinse kind of deal. And this is actually what I normally use. I just put it in a spray bottle with some RO water, spray it on, wipe it off, use a bunch of different microfibers, and it works out really well. Great stuff. But when you have this many bugs and with everything caked on like I do, <laughs> yikes. David got wood. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. But when you have like all kinds of bugs caked on and everything like this, this doesn't do that great of a job. So what I end up doing is I end up like foaming the car and there's a few different things I use for all this. So first up we have the bucket with the dirt grate in the bottom. So all the dirt goes down there instead of hanging around your wash mitt and picking it up. I have a wash mitt, I have a little tire brush. We have the like little mini foam cannon here from Chemical Guys, and I'll link all this down below in case you are interested in any of it. I have two different kind of washes here though, you'll see. So this is for gloss cars. This is for matte cars. So the cars that we have the matte paint protection film on, that's what I use. Cars without that, that's what I use. So I'll go ahead and use whichever one of these that I'm using, put some in here, put just a couple capfuls, fill it with water so that I can actually scrub the car. And then in here what I'll do is I'll fill that with soap and then add some water up to here and then I'll foam the car first, then go over it with this. That works out really well. Then I just rinse it with straight water. But that's where you can actually get some problems with water spots, especially if you're doing this on a sunny day. Luckily I try to do it normally in the evening or first thing in the morning when it's not too sunny. So I don't normally have a big problem with water spots, but there is a super easy way to get rid of water spots super quickly. This is actually a product by Abstract Ocean, but I've used these for so long. I absolutely love them. They're little water blades, so they're like little silicone guys right there. It's on a nice like sturdy yellow handle and you can just literally glide the water right off the glass super easily, super quickly so that you don't get water spots. So I start with drying the glass and then I actually will use this over the body of the car and get off as much water as possible with this. Then I'll go through and use my microfibers, which has actually made my microfibers last a lot longer, which is great, because those are actually pretty expensive. This, really cheap. And if you wanted to buy one of these, you can actually get 15% off from Abstract Ocean. So definitely check it out if you're interested in these. Super great, I actually keep one of these in every car, so if I'm like on a road trip or anything and I need to clean it quick, I can go to one of those like hand stations where you can kind of do it yourself and then I can dry it real quick and make sure I don't get water spots because water spots on glass is actually a huge pet peeve of mine. But it's a great product. Comment down below if you guys have used these before. It's pretty awesome. I will still use a few microfibers to get into like little cracks and everything and just make sure everything is dry as possible. So that right there is kind of like the go-to situation to clean the car. So let's go ahead and jump right to it. Before you actually start washing your car though, what you're gonna wanna do is go up to your mirrors and turn off auto folds so that you can actually clean around them without them folding in. In case you do that, I normally keep mine on always fold.
Okay, so there she is all clean. I ended up having to bring her in the garage real quick because it is starting to drizzle. We just cleaned it. We don't want it all dirty. So yeah, it's basically kind of the products I use and how I go about doing it. Again, this is kind of like the deep clean, like the post road trip clean, stuff like that. Normally I will just use kind of like the no rinse wash just because it's a little bit more environmentally friendly and we're all about that. So yeah, comment down below what products you guys use and everything. Always curious to know what everybody else uses. Maybe I'll go buy some other products and test them out and see how they compare. But yeah, that's basically it. As always, huge thanks to our, our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model S over there, X or Model 3, much like this one, definitely check them out. I'll link it down below. Using code Tesla Inventory, all one word, will get you 15% off your first order. My two must-have mods are definitely going to be that center console wrap because I'm not a huge fan of that gloss black because it's a fingerprint magnet and shows scratches really easily, as well as a matte screen protector. Not only is it oleophobic, so it will help resist fingerprints, but also you don't get any glare from the sun with that. So those are my two must-haves, as well as also those water blade squeegees. I absolutely love those. They make life so much easier, especially if you're like on the go. So like when I get to a location on my road trip, I'll normally go to one of the hand wash places and use that so I don't have to carry a bunch of microfibers, especially then they get wet and then nasty. It's much easier just to carry the water blade. But yeah, as always, a thumbs up. If you enjoyed that video, go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.